Hey everyone, John Henry here, SlingshotFutures.com, and welcome to the Market Mindset, where we take a look at the psychology behind the moves today so we can better understand tomorrow. And today, we're taking a look at gold. Now, the gold futures had a very interesting start to the week. Uh, we had one heck of a gap down, right? But, a uh, little caveat to that, although Friday was a nice bullish day higher, ran into a little bit of a range, slight pullback towards the end of the day, we gapped down pretty large, but we're still inside of Friday, right? We haven't left that range area. So because of that, that tells us that even though we may break out, there's less of a likelihood that it sticks around. Most of the time, if you open up inside of yesterday, you're not going to have some huge bearish day or huge bullish day that goes ripping all over the place. Sometimes you do, but most of the biggest moves occur when you gap outside of yesterday and stay there, and we didn't get that. Now, we did start off with a very bearish indication, followed by bad follow-through, but if we look at the bull's case here, the buyers get a nice bounce. Maybe that's a morning reversal, right? Maybe they want to try to get that morning reversal and rip to the upside here, but then where did they go, right? If that's going to be a morning reversal, the buyer should have followed through and continued that movement to the upside, and they didn't. And that led into an inside bear bar turning back the other direction and going lower. Now, given the fact that it was barely able to even pull back into the first candle of the day and the bad follow through from the buyers, chances are there's going to be buyers that buy into this, their stops are going to be below the lows, and guess where the market's going to want to go? It's going to want to hit those stops, right? So nice selling opportunity to drive the market down for a quick little scalp to the downside before catching another little bounce. Now, what's one thing that we're noticing here? It's bearish consistency, right? Big bear bar, bull bar is bad follow through. Nice bear movement, consistency, consistency, good follow through, and then it finds a little bit of a bottom after it already had 15 minutes of bearishness. So that's totally fine. You expect to see a little bit of balance that way. When the buyers show up, nice bull candle to kick off a move, bad follow through. Another really nice candle, terrible follow through completely falls in on itself now the sellers they didn't get follow through either right they couldn't even trigger in the sellers but when the buyers tried to show up it turned back down again so you're feeling that weight it's almost like someone's you know the market's trying to get its head above the water but it's got this 10 ton weight on its head just holding it down and well when they gave it one more shot the buyers couldn't even trigger in and it turned back down and that led into a beautiful drop to the downside very fast move to hit pretty much every objective you could have asked for to the downside side. Now we started forming this downside channel working its way lower in that channel you can see where everybody started taking profit right right at the bottom of the channel profit taking profit taking don't buy it yet but if you're short look to take profit and that's what everybody was doing there may have been some buyers that tried to buy in and they were immediately shut down so sellers still obviously have conviction here but then we get this right at the end of the trend right buyers are trying to keep skipping off of this area sellers are taking profit on the way down and then boom it slams through that area it breaks down the channel it breaks through last month's high everything is saying whoa you know look at the bearishness on this but you need to put it into context, right? This bearishness is occurring at the end of a trend that's been going on since the beginning of the morning, right? So getting a strong bearish breakout outside of monthly levels, breaking down a channel, a bearish channel no less, breaking lower, that's unsustainable movement. You're not looking for the market to continue that. If it does, it's probably going to be one heck of a bearish day. But then you wait for the follow through. What did it do? Did it look like the sellers want to take back over? No. <laughs> now, the, the buy side, not that great of a signal, arguably, right? It's a very weak bull candle, lots of wick on the top, lots of wick on the bottom, but that's after, in context, that's a perfect place to look for possible buying. If you're short, get the heck out, at least most of the position, because there's a good chance that this is going to pull back on itself quite a ways. Now, maybe it just wants to pull back halfway, right? We broke down this area, then maybe they want to turn around here, and that's the last thing that the buyers get to do. I don't know that yet right? But we know that this is overzealous movement, not very likely to hold. 80% of the time it's going to fail. So you look for the opposite direction and a great way to wrap up the morning. So started off very slow and arguably it was kind of a slower day, but yeah, pretty good price action all in all. That's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something and found it a little bit entertaining and we'll see you next time.